uh, Cursed Hollow and our blue team on the left side, they are Fnatic with Lowell playing Mjordan and in the mid lane Castle playing Tassadar and bot lane with a triple stack, Fretz on Arthas, Ace of Spades playing Brightwing and Shinobo on Zagara. And their opponents, the Polish team, alternate in the red suits, Vasiliano. He's playing ETC, surprisingly. Uh, Mopsio is playing Zeratul. And in the bot lane, the triple stack, Guccio on Sergeant Hammer, Rem Rematch <laughs> uh, playing Malfurion, and Gluehammer playing Vala. So yeah, we'll have to see how Alternate does this. Malfurion and ETC, I still can't believe it. Oh, Bakery is in here. Bakery, how are you doing these these days? Are you on a team right now? Alright, let's see how this triple stack pairs against the other one. Oh, good root onto Gluehammer. He's taking quite a bit of damage and... Oh, wow. Yeah, goes down. That's first blood. Go in the way of Fnatic. It's a solid opener. Let's see if they can make it count. I think with uh, Brightwing and Zagara down here, this is going to be a really strong pushing lane for Fnatic. Arthas is going to be a little bit of a roamer. Might join them um, once Vela gets back in there, but he could go for a kill here on Mopsio. And now he's just waiting. Ah, misses his loot. There's a storm follow-up, and yeah, even throwing uh, uh, throwing that uh, death coil after him. But yeah, so looks looks pretty good so far here for Fnatic. Let's check out the top lane. Ooh. Vasiliano. I, I'm really excited. We'll have to keep a close eye on, on his um, on his build. Of course, Bribe has been taken here by Brightwing. And what is ETC doing? He's going for block, um, reducing the hero basic attack damage. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's gonna help out against Arthas and Mjordan. Maybe Tesla later on if he if he joins the fights. We'll have to see. But yeah, so far ETC is not doing all that bad against against Mirrodin. The little stunts and knockbacks definitely help. And Arp is doing a good job roaming here in the mid lane. So far um, they have about half a level advantage. That's not too bad. And, ooh, triple stack working against Fnatic now. They really need Arthas down here. Some good creep spread coming out of Shinobo. But also, Alternate doing a good job uh, stopping the creeps. Oh, there's the root onto Gluehammer once again, and she goes down so incredibly swiftly. Thanks to Shinobo. We got some really, really solid aggression down here. I like that Arthas is just so quickly moving and darting between these lanes. He's doing a really, really impressive job, and that's the first tribute spawning. Um, good position right now, I mean... Fnatic is already almost there, already started channeling. Vasiliano, oh, he's caught out, he's caught out. No root for Fretz though. And Mopsio joining the fray, there's the root, onto Gluehammer, and Mopsio, Shinobu coming in from the back. Mopsio is in trouble, and he goes down. Vasiliano in, in trouble as well up there. But he might get away, nope, not with that next stun coming out of Lowell. Oh, some really good job here by Fnatic. Really, really stolid openers coming out of them. Oh, there's another stopper by Gluehammer. Wow. Ian healed there. But I think they're not gonna be able to stop this. Yep, first tribute goes to Fnatic. And... Oh, Mopsio... Ooh, he was about to stop that B. Is he gonna help out Vasiliano now in the top lane? That was incredibly low on mana, so... Needs to watch out a little bit. And we have uh, just one of the teams going for the Bruiser camp so far. Uh, that leaves Aves of Spades and Shinobo down here. Two versus two. Since Sergeant Hammer is going for the siege camp. And now it's just Gluehammer. She needs to watch out, but Zagara has left lane as well. Here, uh, creeping up a little bit more. And I like this quite a bit. They know, okay, the next tribute is coming in bot. So if we have some good vision, that's gonna help us out quite a bit. Let's check out the next talents here. Uh, Sledgehammer, <laughs> so lots of Stormbolt additions here onto Mirrodin. And Venom on Arthas, of course. Um, the Healing Ward for Malfurion to give him a little bit of an extra boost. 
And we have first air taken by Zeratul, so they realize, okay, um, with our lineup, um, I better make our Zeratul a little bit beefier. And battle momentum, of course, for Vanna. And we'll check out ETC after this fight. Tribute is up. Uh, some lines have been laid out here. And alternate have uh, an okay position. Started channeling already. But luckily for Fnatic, they have Zagara, and she's an incredibly good disruptor. And looks like they're just gonna buy some time here, and meanwhile, um, fighting these sea shines in the bot lane. Just to try to contest that. And yeah, that's, that's a really good positioning here for Alternate. They can hold this for a while. Here comes the next storm, disrupting again. And this is key, just disrupting the channeling as good as you can. Now the entirety of Fnatic, will they join the fight again? Looks like they can. They're almost level 10, they're just buying a little bit of time. They want to get a couple more kills in Shinobo trying to get rid of that tower. And that's them channeling and ooh, <laughs> wow, alternate. They realize this and just have to let it go. And that is just so incredibly unfortunate for them. Think about it, level 10, so they're level behind, they can't really engage in team fights right now. They can't go for that tribute and they have to go for the next fight. So they have to make a lot of XP in the next minute or so. So once the next tribute joins, they need to take that tribute. So what what can you do in the meantime? Just go for bruisers. Makes sense. All right, um, let's check it out. Blink heal is the heroic on Brightwing, Avatar on Mirrodin, Army of the Dead. <coughs> sorry, on Arthas, Devouring Maw on Zagara, and the Archon on Tassadar. And they just took their boss, just to top it off. And that's level 10's coming in for alternate Void Prison, Tranquility, Brain of Vengeance, Napalm Strike, and Marsh Pit. Let's see. That Marsh Pit could turn things around, but it's kind of hard to get it going. Oh, is Fnatic really this ballsy? Are they really this ballsy? I think they, make, they might be able to make it work. They have three heroes down here. Can they put up enough damage before the remainder of alternate gets here? Mopsio's already in position, looks like they'll just let it go. Vaziano going for the chase. Ooh, you're all by yourself, Vaziano. You need to watch out. The next tribute is coming in, so he, he wants to stop this as soon as he can, but... Oh, Ace of Spades. Oh, no, he has to move. He has to move. And now Gucci coming in from the back there as well. Threats taking quite a bit of damage. There is the Void Prism on the left side, just catching Shinobu, and Fretz, he's in trouble there, but Mopsio also Polymorph, can't really do all that much, and the great Devouring Maw catching three heroes, that's definitely got to give it here for a Fnatic, Castle is quite low, he needs to stay back a little bit, they really want to focus Blue Hammer, but she's getting away, now Remake is the target, and looks like Blue Hammer will get away there, and that's the final tribute going to Fnatic. Let's see how they're gonna push this. Are they even gonna push? Nope, they're going straight for the boss. And Gluehammer still trying to stop this, but nope. I don't think I don't think there's anything alternate can do right now. It's going back into the lanes, trying to stop the minions from taking down um, more towers, more more gates, anything really. And that's the boss steal. That is the boss steal. First is still going for 40 more seconds. Ooh, Vasiliano is trapped. He can't hide. You can run, but you can't hide, man. Boss is coming in from the left side, there comes the jump by Lao. There's a good freeze coming out of Arthas, and that's ETC going down alongside this top fort that's gonna fall here any second. Can they make a switch? Can they make a rotation into mid lane as well? I don't think they will, but it's definitely a chance. Nope, they're just going straight for top lane, trying to finish off these towers. Possibly get a little bit of damage done on the key. I don't think they will, though. Let's check out their next row of talents. Rewind on both Brightwing and Mirrodin. Over here we have Relentless for Arthas, Spell Shield for Zagara, and Pre Signs, Impressions, whatever you call that, for Tassila. Boss is still wailing away at the keep. And Alternate, they need to get a good concave going here. Oh, Mops, you're a little bit too up front. Oh, what a wide prison. I think that. Well, I mean, it helped for the, for the boss, but it didn't really help for the team fight. They're two levels behind. I don't think they can stop this. The fort will, uh, the, the keep will definitely go down. That's Yano jumping in there. Couldn't really do all that much. They're all on cooldown. Tranquility is up. Now most of the, the heroics are back up. And the boss is still marching, meanwhile. Looks like Arthas can stop them. And yeah, 
good, good fight here for Fnatic. Three levels ahead. Uh, taking out a keep already. And, yeah, alternate. What are they going to do right now? They have zero tributes, so they don't really have that going for them. Usually, you at least get one or two tributes. That would give you the upper hand and give you a chance... To, well, not the upper hand, but give you a chance to make a turnaround. But right now, they really have nothing. They don't have any, any siege camps to take, any bruiser camps to take. Um, they're down two levels. They already lost one keep. They lost uh, two lanes of forts. Uh, one lane of forts. And, well, they can't really put on any combat pressure right now. It's gonna be quite, quite troublesome for them to make a comeback happen. But I wouldn't count them out just yet. Definitely not yet. I think, um, on the side of Fnatic, they're just gonna stick, stick back. Um, just gain a little bit more of XP and just wait for the level 16. Once level 16 is up, they're gonna try to force the next team fight. Um, it's not gonna happen all too soon. I mean, the Bruises will be taking the alternate, and they're just waiting for the next tribute to come up. And right now, with three level advantage for them, whew, alternate um, will probably let that next tribute go as well. Oh, we do have the next team fight. They're going for the key for the next fort. So far, alternate is in a good position. At least they're sticking close. At least they're sticking together. Just waiting for Shinobu to hit that really good maw again. Maybe, maybe on top of the Void Prism or something. Alright, just the dance of death here around the fort. And they will take it out, no no issues whatsoever. Blackwing, uh, in the meantime, just took that watchtower and just waiting to join that fight. And there she is, Gluehammer, going for the Reign of Vengeance, but taken out immediately. Mopsio also getting quite low, but using that first aid to heal himself right up. Uh, Devouring Maw not hitting all that much. But at least they got that Ford and got Valor down, so that's even less damage coming out of Ultimate. And they just had to deal with that minion, minion draft in, in the top lane. Tribute is still up in the meantime, so they could go for that Tribute at the same time, but I think they just want to keep the walls down and now let the minions do the rest and go for that Tribute. Okay, why are you getting rid of those walls? Of course they help for Zagara, but... That's not really vision advantage. Until much later on, at least. Okay, tribute. First tribute. Again, going to Fnatic. And that's without any contest coming in. Alright, uh, level 16 talents. Sticky powder, stone form, stone skin, brute expansion, and the dimensional warp. Oh, Guccio, you're in trouble, man. Grammar coming from bottom, but can't really help out that much. And they're making a turn around here. Going straight for the boss, which... Um, Certainly makes a lot of sense. Don't look at the, the damage done here. Siege damage. 50 fix, 56,000 for Tassada. 30,000 hero damage for Zagara. And a lot of healing, of course, coming out of the right wing. Tassada also doing a little bit of healing there. And Malfurion. 15,000 healing. 43,000 siege damage. That's not too bad. And wow, Sergeant Hammer doing the hero damage. Almost 20,000. She's really on top of things. That's the next tribute coming up quite swiftly. Didn't they just take the first one? And excellent decision making here out of Fnatic. Going for the siege camp, maybe even taking out the wall and then going for the tribute would be a wise decision. Let's see what they're doing here. They could just go for uh, let Ace of Spades do a little bit of damage on the wall and then go for the tribute. But no, nope, they're just uh, forcing Alternate back here. Also, I will have to react with Sea Giants and the entire stack alongside, a um, alongside the boss. That is way too much to deal with. They definitely need their entire team and they're not gonna need some really good initiation. And frankly, uh, so far Mopsio not really doing all that well. He's usually on top of things, but I think with uh, that massive level disadvantage, it's really hard to get this going. That's the next keep down. They're almost up to level 16. They just want to get a couple more kills in. And, yeah, that's exactly why Fnatic is backing off here. They still have to deal with the boss, so that gives them a little bit of time to go for that next tribute. And I think they want to finish the game with another curse. So that's the second tribute that should go to them pretty much uncontested. And alternate. Ooh, they're gearing up for things, but nope. Next tribute is coming in, and you're way too late for this, guys. You're just too late to the fight. That's not gonna work. 
So let's check out your level 16 talents. We have Blood for Blood on Valor, Tenacious Roots on Malfurion, Double Bombs on uh, Dear Zeratul, and Imposing Presence on ETC. Executioner on Sergeant Hammer, so that's gonna help our uh, rack even more damage in. Fnatic, they're just not risking anything here. Oh, <laughs> there comes the drop down. Spots Vasiliano. And let's see, Fnatic, they're just gonna bribe this next camp and then make a go for it. Ooh! Can Alternate make something happen here? They have a chance. Shinobu's caught out there, down there, but Lao is just waiting for the next jump. And Mopsio is already quite low. And there's the jump on Mopsio, and he's immediately taken out. Ace of Space gets the final blow there. And Blue Hammer needs to get out of there as well. There's the Devouring Maw getting one hero at least. But ETC. We get a nice little uh, nice little CC off, but Gucci goes down, and Blue Hammer is on the run. So is Rymac. Can they get both of them? ETC just going for some something weird. He's trying to hide and possibly uh, Hearthstone back. And that's the next steal here on the boss. So let's see what's gonna happen. They're gonna take the boss, gonna wait a little bit, take the tribute, then go for a curse and boss aggression with a three level advantage. <laughs> how, how about that? How about that, Fnatic? And what the heck is Alternate gonna do about it, honestly? They just have to stay back. They need to defend. I mean, by this at this point, even um, even the catapults are really um, are really doing a lot of damage. And I think the core already takes shield damage. No, I think they um, did a good job so far stopping this. But now siege giants, uh, an entire team, and a curse coming in. Uh, this this is gonna be hell. This is gonna be hell for ultimate. See if they can make it work. Threats taking a little bit of damage. It's quite low already. That was a pretty good work for not a Moxie over Blue Hammer. He's incredibly low. There comes the Rain of Engines onto Lowell, but oh, I think it missed him. And now they're just so divided up there. Meanwhile, the boss already wailing away here at the core. And Guccio caught out the top there. He's gonna be focused down. That's the first player to fall. Oh nope. Actually Zeratul going down. Uh, beforehand. So that's three versus five. And the boss and minions. Everything storming in. Of course, the curse helps out quite a bit as well. Vasilino jumps in there, tries to break him off, but this is not going to work. And that's going to be game, and Fnatic takes it. Wow. Just so many stomps tonight. What the heck is going on? This is Alternate, a team that has been on top of things for quite some time, but lately maybe run into a little bit of a slump. I don't know what's happened here. But geez, still a damn exciting game, and what a game for Fnatic. Wow. Really looking forward to Thursday, see him in action again. But they really had the perfect draft. Um, again, I think it was the draft winning him this game. Um, just getting Muradin, Arf uh, I think, uh, let's check it again. Um, Arfis, Tesla were their first two picks. And then they got Muradin after that. Muradin and Brightwing. Come on, come on, you can't really stop that draft. But wow, <laughs> what a game.